Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream job role. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are already available in the LeetCode platform. All the code solutions for the questions available in my LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are of easy, medium, hard and also for premium and all the questions which is consisting of the SQL easy, medium, hard, everything into one single playlist and they have ordered by the sequence of questions which are there in the lead code itself. Now let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. The question which we are trying to solve it today is uh, type easy question number 1280 students and examinations. Okay. You can see here uh, it is also asked in Roblox for a beginner level. This consisting of student ID, student name table, subject and subject name table, examination, examination table. Okay. Write an SQL query to find the number of times each student attended to each exam. Return the resultant table by student ID and subject name. Okay. The query result format is in the example. Okay. Let's see the tables first. Just a minute. This is students table, this is subject table. This is how many times they have given any exam or not. Okay. And this is our output table. Okay, let's see one by one. You can see what the question is. Each student is there, one, two, three, three, six, and they are they will be writing all these three exams and how many times they have written exam it is there here we need to calculate by calculating uh, combining the, all these tables and uh, how many times they have attended it we need to calculate it. let's see for example student one allies he will write the exam maths physics and also programming let's say one allies math how many times he have written one maths one maths one time one maths two time one math three times. So one allies math has written the exam three times. Similarly, one allies physics. Physics one physics. Okay, let's take another color. Physics one physics. One more one physics. Okay, he has taken the exam two times. One allies programming. One programming. Okay, he has taken the exam only one time. Okay. Similarly, for the student 2, he also will be taking all these three things. 2 Bob Maths, 2 Maths, where is 2 Maths? Okay, one time he has taken that. Okay, next 2 Bob Physics, 2 Physics, 2 Physics, 2 Physics. Okay, nothing is there, so he will return 0 times. Similarly, for 2 Bob Programming, 2 Programming, one time, okay, only one time. Similarly for 13 John, 13 John Maths, 13 Mathematics, that yeah, one time he's taken the exam, okay, that's why one time, 13 John Physics, 13 Physics, one time he's taken, okay, 13 John Programming, Programming, how many times you have taken, 13 Program, okay, this is also one time, okay, next for the last one, who is 
LX. 6 LX maths. 6 maths, 6 max, 6 max. Okay, he has not taken the exam 0. Similarly, 6 maths physics. 6 is not there at all. Okay. This one is also 0. 6 maths programming. 6 programming. Okay. That one also is not there. 0. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to do the cross join of these two tables because each table will be combined to the all the rows in this table. After that, we need to do inner join with this table. Sorry, left join with this table so that we can have the matching rows and non matching rows. Or non matching rows are not required. Uh, does it required? Yeah, it's required because uh, we want this non matching things also. So we will keep all the left join of them and we will calculate the sum of things which we have done here subject name and everything we will count it and we will report it okay let's do it let's uh, do by this one first of all first do the cross join of these two things which is students table Uh, let's select all from this table select from students cross join subjects okay let's execute it okay here you can see uh, where is this input oh, where is the query I've written yeah one allies maths let's keep it like this order by student id yeah you can see now one allies maths one allies physics one allies programming similarly for each combination of student we have three subjects okay now what we need Okay, similarly like this table we got that by cross joining this one now we need to do the left join with this table let's call this table some with let's call uh, CD as this table okay so that we won't be writing everything now what we'll do is from this CT table left join Uh, I have to join what what is the table here given here examinations table examinations let's call it E on watch column we need to combine it by both this combination of student ID and subject name okay on CT dot student ID equal to e dot student id and ct dot subject name equal to e dot subject name okay now select all the rows Let's run it. Uh, okay, let's remove this. It's not required. As it's a CTC. Okay, let's see the table. Here you can see, right? Student ID, student everything. Where it is matching, it is showing whether it wherever it is not matching it is showing as null table okay now what we need to do is we need to group by student id student name and subject name and we need to count the number of times they have done this exam or we can just uh, group by either student id or subject name doesn't matter okay we can directly group by subject name only so that we can get it okay let's do one thing now group by ct dot 
student id student id ct dot so for what we are doing is for the group of combination of this one we are calculating the uh, number of times the subject name is there in this uh, row okay I think we need to keep inner join only not left turn because not required not matching things also not required ct dot student name comma ct dot subject name okay we are grouped by these three things and we want these three things in the question also ct dot student id comma student dot student name comma cd dot subject name comma we need to count the rows which are there for each subject and let's call it as what is the row name they mentioned attended exams attended exams let's run it invalid column student name somewhere spelling mistake student student name student yeah okay it is saying some error what is that okay for matching rows only matching rows will be there okay left okay okay now for the null rows also it is showing as count one um, Okay, let's do one thing. Let's keep a case when statement. Case when uh, what is that column we are trying to join? E dot subject name. If it is null, then count it as zero, else one. now sum them okay now i think it will work okay we should keep end yes now what we have done is the null rows also are there now what i have done is null rows i am keeping it as zero not null rows i am keeping as one and now i am summing it because now addition of zero doesn't matter okay thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends, colleagues, any teammates who are preparing for the data analyst or a data scientist interview. Just be disciplined, complete all the 230 videos which are there in my playlist. Achieve your dream job by hustling every day, keep growing, keep hustling and keep improving yourself every single day. Thank you very much.